Hi, this is Steve with TossingGames.com. Today I want to talk to you about bag slide for the cornhole game. There's a lot of factors in regards to bag slide. One has to do with the composition of the board. The other has to do with the composition of the bag. And the third has to do with the art of the toss. Today I would like to talk to you about the slide of the bag. We're going to do a little slide test here. And then we'll go into the discussion. Here we go. Basically I put four bags of different types on the board. First over here we have a brand new cornhole bag uh, made of 100% duck cloth, uh, 12 ounce duck cloth. The inners are whole kernel corn. This bag has never been played with, so it's brand new. This bag over here on this side is a American cornhole bag. It is microfiber and the inners are resin pellets and it has been played with, but really that's not a big factor on the resin bag. Uh, right here we have a military official BDU, battle dress uniform material, uh, cornhole bag. The inners are whole kernel corn and this has been played with, played with a little bit. And this one right here is a cornhole bag made of 12 ounce duck cloth and the inners are whole kernel corn, but this bag has been played with some and the corn has started to break down nicely. And this bag right here is by CaliforniaBeanBags.com. So you put all four bags on the board, right below the hole, and then you slowly lift the board up. That's the slicker bag, second slickest, third slickest. And as you can see, the American cornhole bag doesn't slide much at all until it's highly lifted. Now, some people really like slide. I prefer a medium slide. So I prefer a bag that has been broken in wet well. You're going to get a brand new bag and it's going to be slick. Until you break it in and play with it a lot, that's really the only way to go about it. You're not going to get to this point until you have tossed a while. My wife prefers the American Cornhole bag because she likes the board to not slide off the board. She hasn't mastered the art of the toss yet. However, I, I need slide. I need that cornhole dust and I need that bag broken down. So when, it's, when it hits, it, it gives me just enough slide to get in the hole. The material is 12 ounce duck cloth. You can mimic a bag to get broken down before you even play. However, you would have to use cracked corn instead of whole kernel corn and you would have to take the the material before you make the bag and wash it in the washing machine. Now that's one way to go about it. Nobody really sells that but it's just a way if you want to speed up the process. Another way to tell if a bag is broken down or not, I got myself an embroidered bag here. You can hear the corn, whole kernel corn, unlike here you hear, don't hear that rattle as much. This bag, the corn is not broken down yet. This bag has been, had a little bit of play. As you can see, it is a lot slicker. So as a summary, it really depends on the material of your bag and how much has been played with. If the bag is brand new, it's going to slide. If you play with it a little bit, it's going it's to have some slide. Play with it a lot, medium slide. Resin bags, no slide. Now I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the second factor in slide, and that is the art of the toss. A lot of people have their own way of holding the bag. I prefer to hold it with the seam towards the back palm of my hand. I put my guide finger or my index finger on the right side and my thumb on the top. When I come out of my swing, my arm acts as a pendulum. The only thing moving on my body is my arm, back and forth 
When I let go, I'm shaking hands with that hole. As I let go, this index finger act, makes the bag fly like a like a pan, flying pancake UFO. And it, when it hits the board, I either try to hit it offset of the hole on this side or this side. It really depends on which side of the board I'm standing on here. If I'm standing on that side, the bag's going to probably hit around right here. And as it hits, it's going to be spinning and it will slide into the hole. Just like the other side. Hit it here and it will slide into the hole. Also, arc is important too. It really depends on how much arc you have. If you're good, you can throw it straight on and hit it every time. Some people aren't good. They need that arc. I say, just think of a McDonald's arch. You want to have that arc. If that arc will slow the bag down. Four to hit, slide, and in. That's all.